Hello guys, so this will be a quick review of, of the LG Aristo and this phone is actually pretty new to um, the phone market and this phone has been about for a month and it is under a hundred dollars in Metro PCS and T-Mobile so you can just go to the stores and pick them up today. Now this phone, I just want to go over just the quick basic stuff, basic features and the build quality and how it performs in daily life instead of just running down the specs. But if you do want to see the specs, I will pull it up right now and you can pause the video. So this is the spec. So it has Snapdragon 425, it has 1.5 gigabytes of RAM and it is a five inch 720p, 299, 294 pixels per inch display. Now I'm going to get into all the display stuff later, the performance stuff also later. I'm just going to go through the build quality and just how it looks overall. So the feel of the phone, it's very light, it's pretty slim and it feels pretty nice. Uh, 5 inch phone, thin bezels, I really like this color too, this silver color. On the side it's plastic, in the back it's plastic, but it isn't just a normal plastic, it is a removable piece of plastic that happens to be super flexible as you can see here and it has an interesting stitching in the back you can hear that sound and it is pretty satisfying to actually just you know, fiddle around with it and it actually has a glossy part on the side which doesn't look like the prettiest thing ever but it is a pretty nice feeling back cover in the back, we have the camera, we have a flash, and we have a power button, not a fingerprint scanner. This phone does not have a fingerprint scanner, although this circular power button is perfect placement for a fingerprint scanner. Um, but unfortunately, no fingerprint scanner on this phone. Now, if we, there's one really, really interesting and a really good point about this phone, and one of the best, one of the things that I really really like about this phone which is having Android 7.0 NuGet downloaded in the box so you, you just open the box and you have the newest version of Android so the, the Android 7.0 integrated with LG user and LG's user interface it's pretty nice these vibrant bright colors really are nice actually and the animations are really really smooth buttery smooth and even though this only has a Snapdragon 425, everything runs super sm smoothly and I really like this one. So speaking of running smoothly and all that stuff, the performance. This is probably one of the best, if not the best, smartphone that I've tested that has the smoothest performance in this price range, under 100, about $100 I should say. So it's a really fast phone and I can actually just play games like Clash Royale or Asphalt Light without having to lag that much. Actually, Clash Royale has been super smooth on this phone. I really liked that thing about it. And also just browsing web is always super fast and social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, it's pretty quick. Snapchat does lag a little bit because it is a very, um, a very high quality social media, but it can definitely deal with it. So all the basic functions like calling, texting works totally fine. The default keyboard, camera app, I'm just gonna app open it actually. It's pretty good. The default camera app is pretty good. It's very simple, you know, just a very simple little thing. And so the camera picture quality is quite good actually. So I have this pen here. I'm just gonna take a snapshot of it I just press tap uh, to focus and it's, it's really fast it's really really quick the, the speed is pretty quick as I said even in the camera which usually suffers the picture quality is okay actually it's really good um, for the price point um, it's pretty bright it has a pretty great you know color accuracy but it doesn't have the best picture quality and the 
optical stabilization is a, actually pretty good. It's a software optical um, stabilization, but it, it works quite well because I did shake a little bit, but it's not showing up as like that blurry. So camera is pretty decent. And the speaker is on the back and it gets decently loud, but obviously not a high quality sound. And so the battery life on this phone, very important for people. Now if you play games on this phone, it will run out really quickly. So I found that in a normal usage, I, I will say I'm like an average person on my smartphone every day. I, when I got home, when I got to bed actually, I had about 5% left, which is not that great. But if you conserve battery life and turn on battery life saving mode and just turn your brightness like halfway all the time, I usually keep it at like 70 or 80 or even 100%. Um, then it will run out quickly. But if you conserve it, you will definitely get through a day. I am having a hard time getting through one day. So if that's a major concern, then you should probably look for a different phone. But the performance and the display actually makes it up for everything. So the display is a really nice 720p display. It is an IPS LCD screen and the whites are really crisp and bright. Like I really like it. It really fits well with this software and LG's user interface. LG's user interface actually has been really smooth. Again, it all relates to performance and even with the low processor, it actually works really, really well. So YouTube videos, you know, just browsing, super smooth, no lags whatsoever. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please give a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more videos of the LG Aristo and more upcoming phones. And I hope you guys have a great day.